I think the, the, the title, Rooted Experience, is really a key word for me. It is a commitment. You have to be committed to this. You have to see it through. So we had, you know, a study with some reflective questions that helped us dig deeper. But this this is very different than any study I've ever done. Um, it's uh, it's like a study on steroids. It was very apparent from the first official week that we were in a deep dive. So the material gives you, I guess, scripture and there's a story and all that in there. And it was just absolutely fascinating. And, you know, you get the chance to study on your own during the week. Being able to slow down a little bit and drill down. And taking it together made a big difference because we could bounce ideas, thoughts off of each other. You know, there were times that we would come out of the class, Mandy and I would get back into the pickup, and there would be several minutes would pass before we could even talk to each other about the emotions going on inside of us. There was a particular breakout session that we had when we had the men all by themselves and the women all by themselves. And that was very special for me. There are uh, parts uh, of this study where, um, you know, you, you have to, besides reaching down spiritually, you have to do some physical thing. You see Jesus serving constantly, serving people. You know, you have a service a service event where we went up to uh, McKinney to the uh, homeless, the Samaritan Inn, and uh, fed people and sat down and visited with folks. I think the service projects that I was when we went to Samaritan Inn and to feed the people in need there, I really enjoyed that. Um, and then there's an extended time of prayer. There was there's a period where you have a, a three hour prayer session. The prayer experience actually scared me when we went into it because I don't believe I've ever prayed that long before. This was expecting you to go into prayer, both physical and spiritual, and do it in, in not your time, but in, in, in the time that was said. And I think it's purposely said for you to see that prayer goes beyond just what we normally think of. In the prayer experience, uh, it is group prayer, couple, not necessarily two, not necessarily husband and wife couples, but a couple of people spending some time in prayer, and then finally some alone time. And it's just you and God. That prayer experience was was not what I thought it was going to be. It was a whole lot more impactful. We were encouraged to ride our prayers, and I had never really done that before. To have to sit and be quiet, you know, for a certain amount of time, read the stories, read the scriptures, and say, Lord, what am I, what do I need to hear? It kind of got through the fluffy stuff real quick and uh, got down to some of the more difficult or maybe deeper thoughts. I thought about 20 minutes had passed and somebody was knocking on my door and said, hey, three hours is up. How do I pray in a way that is in the will of God? And by doing that, it becomes more powerful and more significant, and it becomes more life-changing. At the end, I didn't feel like I had prayed that long. <laughs> it felt short. I had more stuff I wanted to talk to God about. The, the takeaway of the class is open up and tell people what's going on in your world. For the people that do have small group and think, well, I'm already in a small group, why do I need to do this? It's a way that you get to meet other people and it reminds you that every face has an amazing story behind it so, and it makes the church feel even smaller. People of faith sharing their stories was a key part of that because that's where you begin to see God in the, that environment. Um, and then I think we also saw God doing some things in people during the time that we were meeting together over the 10 weeks. You knew that you were in a room full of folks that generally cared about you. Uh, there was a trust there. Uh, and we all knew what we were there for is to get closer to God. Rooted helped me slow down 
and look again. Part of it was reflective. Whenever I was reflecting upon my story, I was beginning to see how God was at work. This will bring you closer to God. This will bring you closer to your family. This will bring you closer to your, your spouse or your husband or your children. All the things that deep down you know are what's right for you and what's best for you, this will do it. At Rooted, you can be yourself and uh, you get to a point where you have a level of trust and love for each other that uh, just seems to be God-given in this process. We're all looking for something, and I promise you that regardless of what it is you're looking for, there's going to be some parts of this study that will answer a question for you. So the most important thing is to come in knowing, thinking, am I missing something? Am I wanting something? Am I looking for something? If you answer yes to any of those, then don't worry about anything else, the time commitment or the, the extended prayer time or fasting, things that you're not familiar with. If you have a hunger inside of your heart, then yes, you root it. You will definitely get some kind of feeling 